welcome fellow spell slinger to another edition of the spell spotlight my name is model 42 and since our last video was about the succubus let's look at one of her most important spells suggestion a simple written tricky and easily abusable one let's prepare it Suggestion is a 4th level spell that can be found on the arcane and occult spell lists and is of the enchantment school. Its other tags are incapacitation, which means the degree of success against creatures of level 9 and higher will be one worse, as well as having the potential to take them out of a fight or even kill them. Linguistic since the target needs to understand your language to be affected, and mental, since you are messing with the mind of a creature, and mindless would be immune of course. You need to cast a spell actions to use it, one has to be verbal, the other of somatic components, it has a range of 30 feet and targets one creature, that has to do a will save, and depending on the degree of success, the following will happen. If the target gets a critical success, it will be unaffected and knows that you tried to control it, which is bad for each further interaction between the two of you. If the target just succeeded, it only knows that you were talking to her, but is unaware that you were casting a spell on her, which is still okay, since it will not be more on edge than before. On a failure is where it gets really, really interesting. In such a case, the target will immediately follow your suggestion, which has to be phrased in such a way that it seems logical, has to be in their self interest and cannot be self-destructive, but more on that later. This effect lasts one minute or until the finite suggestion was completed, or self-destructive, or has other, obviously negative effects. On a critical failure this will be the same, but the effect lasts for up to one hour. You can also heighten this spell to 8th level, which not only increases the range of targets to cast it on without increasing their degree of success to level 16 and lower, but you can cast this on up to 10 creatures at the same time. Now, this spell seems not that amazing at first, especially because of other, flashier 4th level spells, but it is kind of like making a deal with the devil. If you read the spell description very carefully, you will notice some loopholes, and those are, what makes this spell even greater, I mentioned in my succubus video, and I quote, and from now on she can just tell you to jump of a cliff and you will gladly do so. That is not quite correct in the literal way and was an attempt in sadistic humor, but with her spells and abilities combined, she can trick you into stuff. And you can as well, if for example, you cast an illusion spell, to either transform the surroundings of the target, or what it sees, and then you could do it, because jumping and falling into a nice pond to wash oneself for example is not harmful, not self-destructive and in pretty much everybody's self-interest, especially in times of safety, but behind the aforementioned illusion is said cliff. But if you think hard enough, you can do a lot of stuff with this spell, like getting information, getting items with a discount, moving people out of the way, having them drop their weapons and maybe even surrender, though a lot of those things need additional information on your part, so you can't just use it and hope it works. What you need to learn however is phrasing in such a way, that whatever you want your target to do, makes sense, is not harmful to itself, and the target might want to do. If you can do that, this spell becomes way more powerful, and that is why, for example, in the hands of a succubus, this spell is extremely dangerous, and it can be too, in your hands and honeyed words. Thank you so much for watching. If you have found this to be interesting or entertaining, please consider leaving a like, subscribe for more content and guides, and leave a comment, telling us a way, that you would use the spell, or have used it with success to such a degree. It became awesome.